Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby and welcome back to World of Tanks and today we've got the pleasure of watching why you play what giving one of the best reasons to play World of Tanks in the game and that is the mouse. The one and only, this is the heaviest vehicle inside World of Tanks. Always have to just check, yes it does weigh pretty much 190 tons when you do have this vehicle fully equipped. The mouse was the original tier 10 German tank was one of the only two top tier tanks in the game when it was first released in the CIS region. It was the Mouse and the IS-7. And still, in 2024, 20, 14 years after World of Tanks was first released, this vehicle is an absolute behemoth of the game and demands your attention. And today, why you play what is going to show you exactly why uh, a lot of us would like to play what at least as well as why you play what plays what. How many times am I going to say what at the start of this video? Well, probably quite a lot more when our hero is named after the game that they play. So, this mouse is set up with a durability and no ordinary durability. This is a bond durability and we can see why you play what clearly has all of the field mods on this tank as they have 3,550 hit points, which is the most you can get in the random queue of the game. They're pairing this up with a gun rammer to improve the rate of fire of the mouse, and probably one of the most important modules you can use on the mouse, it is the turbo. The turbo on this vehicle revolutionizes the mouse. Back in the day, this vehicle was limited to 20 kilometers an hour, with a very poor power to weight ratio of under. 10 horsepower per ton which makes this tank incredibly sluggish however as soon as you get a turbo on this vehicle that 20 kilometers an hour forwards now becomes uh, 24 with a regular turbo outside a slot five with a regular turbo inside a mobility slot or alternatively with a bounty turbo but if you're using a bond turbo on this tank now you can go at 26 at a standard speed and that's without taking into account the field mod on this tank which also allows you to go two kilometers an hour faster forwards although you do make yourself more vulnerable in other areas of the tank and so the mouse these days is literally able to go at 28 like it's it's mad to think how much faster the mouse is 40 percent faster now than it used to be and so that means that the mouse kind of has changed from being this meme where it used to just go on a corner and just do exactly what why you play what is doing to now being something that can actually go forwards, take fight to the enemy team. And we can see that why you play what is definitely wanting to uh, get close because they're really not having very much luck at long range against this 50 TP. It looks like both of these heavy tanks are locked in combat, both having uh, a contest to see how many credits they can both waste. I think why you play what what do they fire? Like about five to ten rounds there? That's like twenty-five to fifty thousand credits just completely wasted at the start of this battle. Although, to be fair, they did manage to penetrate one shot on the 50 TP, who was returning favor as well, firing four gold rounds at the mouse, with none of them able to even dent this German super heavy. It's pretty much if we're talking about super heavies, this is the super heavy of World of Tanks. There are other things that pretend to be super heavies, you know, like the Type 5 Heavy, even with heavy in its name. But ever, all of them pale in comparison compared to what the mouse is able to achieve. So why you play what was looking like they were getting fed up of not doing anything and wanted to get stuck in. I'm sure a player of why you play what's caliber will be very unhappy to have only done 500 damage in the first four minutes of the battle. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kick back, relax, Things are about to get incredibly sweaty, as we can see that why you play what's team has just melted. So now you're seeing why you play what just doing mouse 101. This turret is very flat when you're pointing your gun directly at your opponents and they can easily penetrate your cheeks. However, if you angle the turret and hold your right mouse button to lock it in place, you can even look other ways while you're, you're doing that in that case, then suddenly the turret is very good on this tank. And because this tank is so tall, we can see it's overmatching the roof deck of the tier nine Italian tank destroyer in close quarters combat. So the sheer height of the mouse giving it a tremendous advantage. Char to the side, 
Udez flanking in as well. 50 TP has come into the, the fray. And an LT-432 is trying to spot the artillery and the Jagdpanzer E-100, who are the last two remaining vehicles on Why You Play What's team. So that 50 TP that Why You Play What didn't have very much luck against at long range has now come into a much better opportunity where the mouse wants to really have them close quarters combat brawling with the mouse stopping them from being able to flank. Why you play what I, I feel could have maybe done a little bit of more of a ram there against the 50 TP, but maybe they're more concerned about the flanking French autoloader. Talking about flanking autoloaders, the Progetto 46 is now firing high explosive rounds at the mouse and actually managed to take out one of Why you play what's loaders. And Why you play what has not actually healed their loader right now. Maybe they're just deciding that they don't need one and they're more worried about the gunner getting knocked out. Probably because they're using Jack of All Trades. But now they decide, with the uh, Char Future 4 dealt with, that they're going to heal the loader, get themselves back into the game, and have that full damage per minute. So the 50 TP finally manages to penetrate while you play Watt's Cheeks. Now trying to go through the side, and this is just perfect mouse play here. Over-angling to bait their opponents. Their opponent chokes. Well, actually, both players choke. While you play Watt chokes, the 50 TP chokes. Everybody's choking. It's a game of throws right now. And with the Jagdpanzer 100 getting finished off in the corner of the map, why you play what is now in a 1 versus 7, with the dispatch of the 50 TP now in a 1 versus 6. We're still multiple tanks, including the STRV 103B and the 121B on near full health. So it's 2,000 hit points against 6,000 hit points. Let's see what why you can why you play what is all about. They got 5,700 damage to their name and a 1 versus 6 with an artillery on the enemy team. Why you play what has just backed themselves into the corner and is showing the enemy exactly how powerful the mouse is. If you just keep it angled at 45 degrees to whatever is fighting you, then this 200 millimeters of frontal hull armor and 185 millimeters of side armor is absolutely monstrous. The Progetto still valiantly, I guess, or stupidly trying to fire high explosive rounds at some of the thickest armor in the game, doesn't manage to knock out any more crew members. And why you play what starts what's going to have to be multiple rounds into the tier 10 suite. TD. Now the STRV has some of the highest pen at tier 10, so why you play what has to be afraid of the Swedish TD from being able to get shots into their armor. This Ferdinand is trying valiantly, who has actually undergunned there with the 105mm, not even firing gold at why you play what. And this tank just feels like the behemoth right now. Why you play what has blocked enough damage to destroy this tank two times over already, with the amount blocked matching the amount of damage that they've dealt down to just three damage between those two metrics. Unfortunately, the STRV 103B firing gold goes right through while you play what, but he manages to keep the 121B from all inning them. The Ferdinand, again, still providing a distraction, but why you play what should be able to penetrate the whole of the lower plate of the STRV 103B, but aims slightly high there. If the shell had deviated towards the top, it would have ricocheted off that 50 millimeters of armor that the STRV 103B has on the upper plate. This Ferdinand still trying to just annoy why you played what, who managed to also set the 121B on fire. Now, the STRV decides, we're not just, we're not taking this mouse out of the corner. Let's go and cap something that the enemy team probably should have done a little bit earlier. The artillery valiantly trying to go TD mode, misses a shell, gets shut down, and suddenly why you play what is change their 1 versus 7 into a 1 versus 3 and near up to 10,000 damage dealt. The Ferdinand still pushing in, locks down why you play what, but they managed to finish them off with a high roll there against the Ferdinand. So now, up to 10,000 damage. I told you this game was going to get hot. Why you play what has secured eight kills, giving them a Radley Walters medal, but there's still two vehicles on the enemy team that they're going to have to deal with. A snapshot doesn't even damage the tracks of the 121B, who also manages to pen Why you play what. So now they're up to down to 989 hit points. Three rounds from the 121B will be able to finish them off in the LT432 and support. And why you play what is going to have to shoot the 121B at least two times, if not three, unless they get another lucky fire to be able to shut down the Chinese T heavy, me the medium tank even. Why you play what comes around the corner, finally interrupts the cap circle with 10 seconds left. They don't high roll on the 121B, so they're going to need two more shots to finish off that tank unless they get a really big roll off with one of these shells. But how about a shunt instead? Finishing off the 121B by ramming the tier 10 Chinese medium tank to death. The what LT432 fires a gold round into the side of why you play what and decides enough is enough, mate. This mouse is giving me a hard time. I'm off to go do something else. And this is a bit of an issue now. Why you play what has a very hard decision to make. With five minutes left on this game, it's encounter. It's gonna take them a long time to be able to camp. And they are literally stuck in possibly the mother of all situations 
where there could possibly be crossfires at the end of this game. So many different avenues, so many different doors that why you play what is going to have to contend with. This is going to be a tricky one for our hero to decide exactly where to face. But I don't think this is probably why you play what's first time in a tricky scenario. They've showed some rock solid, steadfast plays in the face of such a large number of enemy vehicles. And with the LT-432 called Bavarian Panther on the enemy team managing to spot why you play what, it looks like the poor camera rating that as you would expect the biggest tank in the game, the mouse to have, is not doing it any favors. The LT-432 could be anywhere, but why you play what is showing more great plays in the mouse here by angling the back of their vehicle like this. This means that the from most angles, the mouse is gonna have an even better angled armor it might provide a little bit worse armor from the side here if the lt432 comes from this way but if they do come from that way why you play what will know because the cap at the top will freeze so this is just a beautiful position that if the lt432 comes from this way they will get a warning not even from the proxy spotting but from the fact that the cap will be interrupted halfway there why you play what still just looking for where the lt432 is going to come from what angle will the tier 8 soviet light tank choose to try and shut down this david versus goliath i heard wreckage over on the left why is why you playing what not looking that way i guess they don't have a good set of headphones there so they didn't hear the lt432 coming from the left the lt432 luckily ricocheted off they weren't able to reset and if they had reset there that would have been it. It would have been a draw unless why you play what would have managed to catch them. And good luck trying to chase down one of the faster tier 8 tanks in the game. We're still one of the slowest, if not the slowest, at tier 10. So why you play what now has 50 seconds left. Where is this LT432 going to come from? They have to get one more shell in. All they have to do is damage the tracks. Hit the track anywhere with an AP shell or an HE shell and it will interrupt the mouse. But maybe the LT-432 is trying to win this David versus Goliath scenario at the end of the battle. And if they are, they're going to have to get multiple shots in. Why you play what has blocked over 9,000 damage. Over 11,000 damage dealt. And the LT-432 manages to come around the corner. But why you play what tries to shoot them but chokes the shot. Now the LT-432 is going to come back around again. Are they going to be able to interrupt the cap circle by shooting the tracks? They're looking for the lower plate, maybe. They fire an HE shell. It doesn't damage the mouse. It holds firm. And why you play what takes down one of the greatest games of World of Tanks I have ever seen, let alone in possibly the most epic tank there is in World of Tanks, which has to be the one and only mouse. No matter how old this game gets, no matter how many mouse rounds I have the pleasure of watching over the years, I think this tank still gets me more excited than any for a real close game of World of Tanks. So, why you play what? Congratulations to you on this mammoth victory. Over 11,000 damage dealt, a one versus seven smashed, living up to your name and pretty much showing the World of Tanks community at least why you play what and why a lot of people would like to play what as well as you can. So the Colobanos medal for standing alone against at least five, in this case, seven, a pools medal for that last frag on the LT-432 and a steel wall for that gargantuan 9,000 damage block. The only thing that I didn't like here is how why you play what was just letting the two key fly against some lightly armored tanks, which actually means they lose credits even with the action payout. But do you think they really care when they've just had such a monster game? Probably not. This is one of my favorite games of the year. Why you play what? Thank you so much for uploading your awesome round on the What Replays website for the community to enjoy. And I hope all of you out there felt like I did it justice with this YouTube video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And let me know in the comments down below, what is, in your opinion, the most iconic tank of World of Tanks? And if you're watching this video as it's released on Sunday, I'm gonna be going live now on twitch.tv forward slash quickiebaby for the first ever Polish Tank Destroyer Tech Tree Showcase. So come along, I've grinded my way up the tech tree, I've got an opinion on all of the tanks, and I'm gonna be letting you know whether the new highest damage per minute in World of Tanks is worth the grind. So really looking forward to seeing you all live right now, and as always, thank you so much for watching, you've been epic, and hopefully I'll see you soon.